Hi, I'm Howard Winokur. I'm a member of the Board of Directors to Open to Hope, and it's my honor and privilege today to be interviewing a good friend and colleague, Dr. Tom Attic. <laughs> what I'd like to talk with you about, you've, been, you've come up with some very interesting concepts about things that are helpful for grief. I think of grieving as a process of relearning how to live in a world that's changed. I think a very hopeful way of understanding that is what you have to do in grieving is what you've been doing all of your life. That is, learning how to live. It's not as if it's a complete change and something utterly um, beyond your experience. You've been learning how to live. You never finish learning how to live in your life. And after someone dies, you're learning how to live in a new context. And you will never finish relearning how to be in the world after your loved one has died. And I think another helpful thing is to understand grieving as a process of, uh, that's a, really a labor of love. Uh, you have loved a person when they're physically present in the world with you, and now you have to learn to love them in their absence. But most of the time with your loved ones, when they are alive, they're not with you. But you don't stop loving them when they leave or when you leave them. Uh, so we know a lot about loving and separation already. So we just have to reconnect with that and let go of, because we can't do it anymore, loving them in their physical presence because that's what you've lost. But most of what your loved ones have given you, the most precious gifts they've given you, their most precious legacies are still yours. You haven't lost those. You've just lost this incredibly important capacity to hug them again, kiss them again, argue with them again, hold them in your arms again, uh, and so on. And, and you can't do that, but you can do everything else. Words of wisdom from Dr. Tom Attic. Tom, thank you so much. <laughs>